A local team with brain cancer whose Brookfield High School rallied around him earlier this year is now succeeding as a college student. Yeah, he almost missed his high school graduation in May because of treatment, but the school surprised him and held a special ceremony just for him. Ricky Mitchell caught up with the new freshman today at UW-Whitewater. Andrew Wernicke says he wasn't really thinking about college when he graduated high school. He was more concerned about his upcoming treatment, but now he's here enjoying life as a freshman and his treatment is working. These are a bunch of t-shirts. Like most college kids, Andrew says he's adjusting to life on his own, setting alarms and making sure he gets to class on time. But I like being able, being able to do what I want. But unlike most freshmen, Andrew also has to remember to take about 20 different pills throughout the day. And if I'm out with my friends, like I have to bring them with. Andrew is part of a clinical trial testing an experimental drug that's supposed to stimulate his immune system and fight the cancer. And the results of his last MRI show that many of his tumors are shrinking. I'm feeling better. Um, I haven't really had like any symptoms from this, which is, um, I guess the doctors would say it's surprising. He says he's only taking three classes this semester, but he's also made some great friends and joined a ping pong league. And if the treatment continues to work, it could mean one day Andrew will be cancer free. That would be a miracle. I would, I would just be so overjoyed just because cancer at any point, something could just pop up and this that could be the end. This makes me feel really good that this is working. Reporting in Whitewater, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. So good to see him actually doing well. Yeah, keep up the good work, and if you need a ping pong partner, give me a call. <laughs>